moment. Can we get that on camera? Oh, that's from me overcharging it <laughs> by mistake. That's all you say. Right here, Chivers. A lot's happened. It's been a couple of weeks since I updated you on the electric van project. What are we calling this? It's not a build. It's a bit of around and find out. This this car has more issues than my wife, I assure you. Um, where to start? Let's start with the batteries, the thing that I'm swinging around. So my brother overcharged it. He got a little bit impatient and may or may not have destroyed destroyed more bloated than Pete's you know dad bod it's not good so how many cells did we there was one cell so in the land of the internet Pete's gonna pick that up that's one cell so three cells in series or three cells in parallel because I can never remember which one the internet will tell me parallel. parallel apparently my brother told me so those three there were a bit puffed up but they were zero volts yeah. yeah so they were stopping the batrium from working properly i guess now screen grab we got one we got a few hours of the batrium working properly with the yeah. wires connected yeah. up i'm referencing my brother a lot because he's here all the time and i'm 100 k's away so the batrium was working you can see here we had six cells that were too high that is these ones here that was the battery pack that we took out on the first day that we were here for the first time we did a video i guess i didn't go to plan we dropped that battery pack we charged it up and i said to my brother we've got to take that voltage down a little bit no 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 it'll be fine it's because we could the batrium wasn't working properly now this is not a batrium issue this is a one cell was flat the chain was broken it was never working so not a batrium issue, this is a battery issue. We couldn't monitor it and we thought, eh, well, I didn't think, someone else thought. You put a J1772, a type two charger. So we can plug it in at my house, we can plug it in here, we can plug it in and go, right? Much better than the 15 amp jobby. The result was the battery started crying, literally dripping out the battery box underneath the car. So we have to, take a whole heap of boxes of batteries and remedy that small problem. Old batteries have been removed. New batteries. Surprisingly heavy galvanized steel box um, with some bendy modifications that's actually pushed out in the middle. But we're giving it a wipe out. We're gonna clean up the bus bars and load it with a whole bunch of new cells. Just completed filming the sequence of doing the batteries into the box. Uh, I need to realize that the box is a bit dirty on camera. So I thought I'll bring it out here and I'll give it a wash. So after cleaning it, we actually found a little bit of welding spatter on the bottom of the, the enclosure. And I instantly panicked thinking that the old cells had rubbed through and maybe that caused the issue. Uh, however, I wasn't around when my brother took the battery out and I didn't really consider that there could have been something else under the batteries and there was white, like on same as on the top, on the bottom. So little housings for the batteries to stop them from moving so much. So in the end, I panicked. Maybe we can put the foam out of those boxes underneath that, and that's going to give it a little bit of cushioning too. Mm. Alright, yeah, we've, we've got a plan. Um, we've got a whole lot of this foam, and if it's good enough to be shipped around the world, I reckon it's going to be good enough to put around and underneath these batteries. Okay, I panicked a little bit there. There was no need to panic. I've got a little bit of that um, the foam in the bottom. This battery is not going back into the car before this video gets released. So light up in the comments if this is a bad idea. 
and I can come back down and we can change it up to whatever you recommend. This is probably not a long-term solution. Uh, but we're thinking this is the foam that it come with and it come with a lot of it. So this is going to mechanically stop it from moving, stop it from rubbing. However, my brother pointed out it's also going to stop it from the natural convection of air moving around the cells to potentially cool them. I know these are all touching, and but still, so we're going to cut these in half. So it's sort of just the bottom half, is that correct? So put it all the way down on the bottom. So it'll still stop the, the cells from sliding, but will also allow a bit of cooling. Now we're going to do that down the middle. We're going to do the outside as well, because you might need the strength all the way up the side on the outside. Both. Again, like the comments up if this is a dumb idea and give us some better ones. It might not help us, but it could help somebody else out there. I just don't know if this is a good idea. We don't really have a choice because I don't really... Pete doesn't do lithium ion phosphate. It's 18650s and this is much larger than my usual cell. Um, but you can see a little bit of a bowing there, but it won't hurt too much. So we've got foam all the way around it and we've got foam underneath it. Uh, we've got plenty of room. We've got the cable. The cable's coming in here and you can see the terminal there and the terminal there. So they should go in there nice and easily without too much strain. Um, that has the bung... I'll drop the thing. The bungs go through there so they'll be protected. And the lid goes on. Job done. Now we've got a... I'm going to clean some bus bars. Right, what could go wrong? Immediately everything. need to be. This is going to take a while. Only hiccup we had was this end of bus bar that went over either end. We had to shorten it up. Um, anybody with OCD turn away now uh, that will be Pete but it fits and battery number four I guess the box number four is alive again now this is not its final form uh, all of the uh, what do you call these block mons uh, in this box got acid all over them or leaked or um, perhaps water got in and destroyed the six in here. And apparently, I think um, they're on back order or they don't have any in stock for us to buy some new ones. So for now, I've rated my stocks of Longmons and we've got the display and for some reason they're all balancing, but we'll work out that later. Now we've got to balance the entire battery, get it all back in the car and a test drive. Wheelchairs don't make people dumb. That works really well. Except I got myself stuck. Except you got yourself stuck. <laughs> oh yeah. No one just dragged out. No, that's all right. And I don't know how I could actually do the wiring better in here. I mean, it's just wiring, right? But yeah, still, yeah. you'd want to stop it from vibrating around. Not that there's any weight in the wires, but... Uh, a little bit of that foam, that white foam packing that come in the box. Yeah. That wouldn't go straight down the side here. I reckon in the middle. Well, I, here, here, well these here. two batteries aren't joined together. No, but here, in the, in the middle. Moist. Well, the, the bus bars would be better if they drilled it in the, hole, in the middle. Um, they've got washers underneath for most of these block ones. Yeah. But they